once again hello 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 uh welcome back to my channel evergreen living tv uh, how are you guys doing i hope okay so today once again i want to show you an alternative way of cooking a goosey soup so this alternative way is actually to cut down on the calorie count of the goosey soup so i want to show you how to do it normally naturally we use red oil to cook a goosey and you know the calorie in red oil is quite high so to make the alternative if you really want to kind of watch your weight or lose weight i want to show you how to do it so here we have a goosey seed it's already you know blended you know it's already crushed i got a goosey soup we have crayfish the crayfish is already uh, blended as well and then we have dry fish yes dry fish is very very good for all this local soup and we have chicken i love chicken a lot you know but i have already grilled it or roasted it the reason why i roast my chicken is so that to cut down on the calories so when you roast the chicken all the oil under the skin goes off so you know at least you got that one so i've got this uh, big red pepper this purposely is going to color the ebusi and make it red as if you add red oil in it so and i've got scott bonnet these are the you know hot chili hot pepper um there's part of it so i've got here um the chicken stock i always use no cubes chicken stock um you know meat stock so and then um, i've got this local seasoning it's called um obeye it's used to because i really want to make it look like that natural ibusi soup so i'm gonna cook it natural way no frying no oil so watch me do it let's go i have already blended the pepper you know so i'm adding it the pepper and the local seasoning is already in here so because i need to season the chicken because the chicken you know was uh, put in the oven it wasn't seasoned so i have to season it right now so i'm adding the stock and uh, i will add um little salt and uh, yeah so i have to do it and uh, i do I, I i i steam it for about five minutes then i tell you the next step the chicken is steaming as you can see it is steaming and uh, in the next few minutes i will remove the chicken from the soup so that it doesn't break up because you know that the chicken is already cooked when we roasted it so um just two minutes to give the chicken some taste because uh you know we roasted the chicken without seasoning so that's uh exactly the reason so let's give it a few minutes to kind of uh, soften up a bit then we take it from there okay so the chicken is ready I have to take the chicken out because if I leave it, you know, while I am processing the soup, it's going to break. And uh, we want the chicken in whole, so that's why I have to, you know, get the chicken out. At the moment, the um, the seasoning has gone into the chicken, so the chicken is very ready to for eating right now. But we have to add it after the soup when the soup is uh, ready so as to get the chicken in whole so i'm adding the fish we're gonna add the fish to let the fish soften up as well so we, as we have added the fish we need to give it another five minutes so after that five minutes we will add the egusi and i'll show you so this is the egusi i used water to mix the egusi together 
you know some people do fry it but because of the fact that we are not going to use oil so you just mix it up with water and then just put it in the soup in balls like this so let's go so the soup is doing very well so the see I have to start kind of uh, use this to kind of scatter it in the soup just scatter it with your this thing we don't want it to be too soft so when you scatter it then you start turning it some of them would be lumpy some people like it lumpy just see some lumps some people don't so it depends on you if you want it lumpy you don't need to scatter all of it you just allow it to set but if you don't want it lumpy you can just scatter all of it in the soup so you see the soup is nearly ready the ebusi has uh, scattered in the soup you can see because of the way i did it it's not very soft so it's a bit uh, you know uh, together it depends on how you want yours remember that we remove the chicken because we don't want the chicken to scatter if we had left the chicken in the soup it would have been dismembered but you know because the soup is all almost ready we're just gonna add the chicken right now in order to allow it to simmer the if we see we go into the chicken and then the soup will be done that's it done the Lucy is done look at it look at it it's done it's looking very very yummy so it's ready the Ebusi soup is ready Ebusi less calorie Ebusi Ebusi without oil and you can see can you believe that? So it can easily go with pounded yam, it can go with tamala, it can go with uh, gari and so on. If you want to eat the ebusi with vegetable, I have done the vegetable separately so you can easily add the vegetable, you know, and eat it with the ebusi. Some people like it plain, some people like it with vegetables. So I do the ebusi separately and vegetable separately so that it will serve people who like it with vegetable or without vegetables so just want to show you as well so please subscribe to my channel like it share it to everybody who want to cook a wussy that will be of less calorie remember we do alternative here that is giving you nice food cooking with less calorie composition thank you very much i'll see you when i see you remember subscribe remember subscribe remember subscribe so that the channel will grow i can love you less i love you so much bye